good friggin' morning, all you beautiful people. I have finally joined the club of the stupidest people I know. I got up on this Boxing Day, 3.30 in the morning, to drive in an ice storm 50 kilometers an hour into town to go to Best Buy to pick my son up a PS3. The lineup, I stood in line outside. There was maybe a hundred people in front of me, as stupid as I am, for 45 minutes outside with ice pellets bashing down on my face. By the time I had come, uh, gone into the store, I had a solid layer of ice over my jacket. My hood had icicles hanging off of it, and I had a snotsicle hanging off of my nose. So, now that I am in such good humor, shall we discuss carbohydrates? Okay, guys, let's talk carbohydrates. Um, okay, where do I start? The first thing you have to know is everything that you consume is basically divided up into three things. Carbs, proteins, and fats. Now, three things you have to know. Carbohydrates. Your body has a very limited... Uh, capacity to store carbohydrates. Two pounds for the average person. Anything over that, your body basically sends right to your fat cells and stores all your carbohydrates, your sugars, everything you eat as fat. <coughs> Talking about fat, as we all know, your body has unlimited capacity to store fat. Reason for that being, your body is so kind to you, it actually splits and divides filled up fat cells. Let me give you a little picture. Say you're born with 100 fat cells. When those fat cells fill up, they basically split and then you're stuck with 200 fat cells. If you still don't exercise and you still consume more carbohydrates and more fats than your body needs, those 200 fat cells are going to be filled up and then they're going to split up in two and then you're stuck with 400 fat cells. Before you know it, a year down the line, you weigh 500 pounds, 280 pounds, 300 pounds, and you have no clue how you got there. It's because of the cell division and the fact that your fat cells have split up and filled up and split up and filled up. And because it, it has to make space for you to be able to consume more fat to fill them up with. So that's fat for you. We all know that part. Proteins, however, guys, your body has no capacity or no mechanism that can actually store proteins. Okay, so all the proteins you eat will be utilized by your body for different things, either to maintain the, the, the muscle mass that you have or to uh, build more muscle mass onto what you already have, or it gets burned for fuel and energy for your body. Okay, so it all gets used. It doesn't can, can't make you fat. It doesn't go and sit in your fat cells. Your body doesn't store it. It utilizes everything. Now, there's one other little mechanism that your body has. You have a little thing called a pancreas. That pancreas uh, secretes um, insulin. For you guys who don't know what insulin is, insulin is basically a hormone that helps to store carbohydrates in your body. Now, the problem with this insulin thing is not only will it help you store carbohydrates in your body, but it also helps you store fat because it's a storage hormone. It stores and organizes things in compartments, okay? So, now here's where the bad thing comes in. If you have insulin in your body, you won't be able to burn fat because the insulin stores the fat instead of using it, okay? So insulin is really not a good thing for you. Insulin is the main thing that prevents you from burning fat. Now going back to carbohydrates. If you do um, low intensity exercises like um, uh, jogging, uh, swimming, um, those types of things, you do burn fat. Your, first of all, your body, the first thing your body will burn is carbs because it's an easy thing to burn. The second thing it will burn after that, when all the carbs are used up, is fat. Problem with low intensity exercise is, guys, you burn fat at such a low ratio that it will take you forever to get rid of fat. For instance, um, it will take you about running 40 miles 
okay, to burn one pound of fat. And you only burn that fat if you have no carbs and insulin in your body, okay? And then <coughs> once you stop that exercise, so you run from point A to point B, the moment you stop running, that's the moment you stop burning fat. It's gone. Now you go and eat again and you just replenish all those things that you just ran off. So that is the slowest way that you will ever burn fat in your life. Now, <coughs> high intensity exercise, on the other hand, actually needs more carbohydrates for your body to be able to function properly. So if you do stuff like sprinting or intervals or uh, weight training, you actually need to consume more carbohydrates because your body will eat, uh, uh, basically eat up the carbs in the muscle and everywhere to, for, for, um, to enable you to be able to do that exercise. So you have to replenish your muscles with carbohydrates again. There was one other thing I made a note of. Um, what was that? Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, do we, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm wasting time here. Okay. I told you about that part. Okay. Okay. Now, weight training. Here's the interesting thing about weight training. If you guys uh, do a high-intensity exercise like weight training, once you stop weight training, your body will actually keep on burning calories and burning fat for hours after you stopped working out. Jogging, you just burn at a very slow ratio while you jog. Once you stand still, it stops. Once your heart rate goes down, it stops. With weight training, your body will keep on burning fuel hours after you've stopped working out. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Um, okay, carbs. Okay, guys, I made all these notes and I'm, I don't know which ones I say. I start talking and then I get... Uh, sidetracked with all of this okay so um what happens if if you eat a hamburger or a pizza or something like that the okay you, you you're basically getting in carbohydrates proteins and fats right your carbohydrates is in your bun and your ketchup and your uh little patty thing is your fat and your your um your protein now, that goes into your body, so your protein has to now go to your muscles and do whatever it has to do, and your heart and your lungs and do, do its little function. Um, the, fats goes, the fat goes to your fat cells. Why is that happening? Because the bun that you ate, basically, it's a carbohydrate, right? So, the moment you get carbohydrates in your body, your body uh, sends insulin into your, your pancreas, sends insulin into your blood that now needs to go and take this bun and put it in different places where it needs to be stored. So what happens to the fat? Now the fat gets stored too. So you're not going to burn the fat. You're going to be burning the carbohydrates if you do anything. If you don't do anything, the carbohydrates are going to the fat cells alongside the fat that was on the patty. So that's the main thing you guys need to know. And I've got 1 minute and 49 seconds. So um, high intensity exercises burns fat a lot faster than low intensity exercises if you guys want to lose weight. Um, carbohydrates is not a good thing to have when you're uh, trying to um, uh, burn fat because of the insulin factor. Protein, guys, you need 90% of the population doesn't even get a third of the protein that they're supposed to get in just for normal, for the body to function normally. So your protein uh, needs to go up by, like you wouldn't believe, we'll, we'll go into ratios at some point, but I am running out of time again. So... This is the basic thing. This, I'm, this is the start of my video series on weight loss um, and um, food and how they work together to help you guys lose weight. Um, I hope this made sense to you guys. Um, I don't know. It's so hard to stay on track and not go into this in so much detail and it gets so complicated that you kind of stuck somewhere. So I need to divide this up and, and give you little bits of information because 10 minutes is not a long time, as you guys know, to talk about this. So 39 seconds I've got left. Please, guys, uh, don't go out and stand in line to buy your kids a PS because it was going to drive you crazy and you're going to be freezing to death. But have a fabulous, fabulous uh, boxing day. Um, go and... Uh, Maybe work off that turkey and stuff you had last night. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Keep well. Bye-bye.